Alright, hello fun and welcome back to Starfield, where today we are back here in New Atlantis after quite a long time away, as we have of course been out in the galaxy doing a variety of other missions and other systems, but we've returned to of go and talk to Kelton again about that tree he's been studying, and the original plan was after that head down perhaps to the well to look for other quests, but I was thinking about it off cam maybe we should also clear out some of these other activities like talking to sergeant yumi again i don't even remember who trevor is who's trevor why am i supposed to speak to them no clue <laughs> so yes perhaps we should clear out some more of these things though first oh boy a lot happened off camera a lot happened off camera first and foremost we have a lot more cash now which is great in the last episode we of course were on that space station and i was able to get quite a lot of good stuff from there you can see we're up to 150,000 now uh one of the things that was in that station that i didn't notice when we were recording was off that like main control room there was a small storage room with locked safes from gal bank that those spacers had stolen <laughs> and there was a key just upstairs super easy to find and that alone was like 30 grand of money that we had gotten from that which was great then all the other loot plus the uh different contraband items i had uh were another like 20 or so thousand i believe so yeah we made a lot of money which was awesome We've got a lot of cash now, so I think possibly today we might also go back to the spaceport to finally upgrade my ship a bit. I think that might be nice. I also did, because it is the weekend for me right now, head out and explore a bit around uh, New Atlantis. Just to see the world, scan some plants and some other things. And uh, yeah, found like this these old automated farms out here, a old UC listening post that was full of Crimson Fleet uh, pirates. Though... You know, I kind of, at first when I went there, I was like, oh man, this might have been good on cam, but no, no, they were all level one and level two pirates, so they died by like one bullet from my Eon, so <laughs> it was, it was actually pretty boring, even for me, I was like, oh, well, they're just dying left and right, fair. I also found a cave that I went into, but I didn't actually do anything, but apparently it's, uh, it's explored, which is really strange, I, I literally just stepped into it, went, oh boy, maybe later went out and i was like oh hey cool you explored it really didn't and also found this ship landing site which literally was just a big open area on a hill where a ship landed and the captain was asking for water i did not have any water so that was it <laughs> it was kind of strange but okay i i guess they're probably still there so if i do pick up some water at some point maybe i can go back and be like here you go I mean, you're literally just a little bit away from New Atlantis, though. Why'd you land there rather than at the spaceport? Oh, well. <laughs> but yes, it was it was pretty neat, though, being out there. I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, a lot of animals that tried to attack me and kill me. Hmm. That were actually more dangerous than the, the Crimson Fleet pirates I found here. <laughs> Good times. Still don't have everything in the world scanned here, but did do a fair amount. Actually, what is... I always forget to hold. I always forget to hold tab to exit. What do we got on the scanner now? Oh, yeah. I did two fauna, four flora, and all the resources are good. Nifty. Nifty. But that, I think, summarizes up everything that happened off cam. I think. Well, let's go talk to Kelton and see where things are going with this tree of his. I mean, it's a pretty nifty tree. I do like it. So, hey, Kelton, man. What's up, friend? Long time no see. Oh, so, uh, yeah? I was hoping we might run into one another again. Wonderful. Your timing is most fortuitous. Yeah, is it now? I'm on the verge of something, but I don't quite have all the information I need. Got it. So? <laughs> if you're still paying, I'm listening. Well, actually, Mast would be paying, but... I mean, fair. I see your point and assure you that you will be compensated for your time. Thank you, Kelton. Of course, now that I understand more about what's going on, it seems plain as day. And yet I never would have imagined it before. Uh-huh. Well, the what is? The trunks have also liquefied their interiors. Wait, what? But they're not vibrating. I oh, thought okay. perhaps it was some sort of defect, but it's much simpler. 
Uh huh. They're listening. They're what? How is a tree listening, Kelton? How is a tree listening? <laughs> uh, how do you know what's going on? I don't. Not for sure. Oh. It's all a theory, certainly, but. Oh, okay. It is completely supported by the data and observation, like all good science. Okay, okay. It's okay. the best we have to go on right now. Fair, but I mean, it's a tree, Kelton. It, how is it listening? Yeah, it's a tree. That's a very reductive and borderline insulting way of looking at things. Oh, sorry. I believe <laughs> this tree is sending vibrations out over massive distances and expecting to detect sympathetic vibrations in return. Oh. As of yet, there's been no response. I suspect that will not change, that a response is impossible, and that's very, very bad news. Why? Ah, uh, yet to find bad news. We're continuing to see an increase in the strength and frequency of the vibrations, I don't know how much more significant it'll become. Uh-huh. If there's no response, the tree may vibrate itself and some nearby portion of the city to destruction. Neat. Now, as of yet, there has been no response. And clearly, none of the nearby individuals are a correct match. Got it. While it can't be ruled out that the intended recipient of these messages was cut down during the city's expansion, there is one other possibility. And that would be... Over a hundred years ago... The United Colonies and the Free Star Collective emerged from the Narian War. R right? As a gesture of peace and goodwill, a near literal olive branch, one of the trees from New Atlantis, was offered to the leaders of Aquila City. Oh. Yeah, that seems like a nice gesture. <laughs> I like nice. it. Short sighted and ill advised, in my opinion. Uh, okay, of course, why? you can't just uproot a native species and plunk it down on some other planet in oh, a that's totally fair. different environment and expect it to grow. You know, that's fair. That's fair. Clearly, no exobotanists were consulted ahead of time. The end result was wholly predictable. The tree died within a few short years. Oh, oh no. So that's a dead end, pardon the pun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's a dead end, pardon the pun. Clever, but no, not necessarily. Oh. The tree died, yes, but branches were kept. At least one still exists in the museum there in the city. Oh! If I had that branch, I could get DNA samples and then using various data I've gathered, I could attempt to simulate a response. Ooh. We could then broadcast that response and hopefully calm down our friend here. But as I say, I need that branch. Right, so I've got to go to the Freestar Collective and go to Aquila? Uh, and we finally arrived at the point. I'm afraid I can't be two places at once. And I have too much going on here. Uh-huh. The museum in Aquila City is under the supervision of one Miss Kessler, I'm told. Right. I don't know anything about her, but hopefully she'll be willing to listen to reason and assist our cause. Oh, this right. just got a lot more Off complicated. Go. We don't have any time to waste. Oh, dang, Kelton. Uh... Late bloomer. Oh, geez. Okay, I figured Kelton was just gonna, you know, have some updates for us on the tree situation. Or, at worst, a quest like we had previously with him where we just had to do something here in uh, New Atlantis. No, we gotta go all the way to Aquila City, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, this is much more than I thought. Oh, well, we committed already. I said I was going to talk to Kelton's. <laughs> Where the hell even is Aquila City? That's someplace we have not been yet. Cheyenne. All right, that's actually not very far away at all now, is it? Okay, let's jump. Boom. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting that. I figured it'd be, if if we did have to do anything, it would be I... like last time with Kelton. Mm -hmm. Breathe in oh. that technically suitable air. Welcome to Free Star Space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband. Of course. Be on your way. Don't Got worry, I sold it already. Uh, maybe a few minutes. Also, Barrett, shut up. Have a nice time no in a game. No guarantees. City. Thank you, Free Star security people. And, oh god, Barrett, why must you always start talking when other people are? Okay, so, Aquila City, now that we've been scanned. Lovely. Boom. A new system and a new planet and a new city for us to explore. 
Oh, is that supposed to be it on the loading screen here right now? Huh. Not as fancy as New Atlantis, if this is, in fact, the place. Ah, yes, I see the sign right there in front of the ship. <laughs> I didn't notice that before. Okay, well, I mean, we're here now, which is cool. We'll definitely have to come back to explore it properly later, but just walking through the city, we're probably going to end up getting some quests. As usual. <laughs> Yay, we've landed. It apparently is nighttime in Aquila City. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and exit ship. Boom. Something for you. Oh, Barrett. Oh, he's, he's got something for me again. Plus, wanting to talk. Pleasant to see you. All right. Well, let's. Ooh, hello. Weird looking ship. I mean, I know I'm getting sidetracked here, but um. Oh man, is its entrance on the side? Ooh, haven't seen that before. Front and back, sure, but not the side. Could we steal this ship? <laughs> you guys did tell me in the comments when I was wondering about that spacer ship I boarded uh, in the last mission, how I do steal a ship if possible. Apparently I just have to sit in the, uh, the pilot seat. No, let's not steal a ship and get wanted while we're trying to go to a museum. Maybe later. <laughs> you know what? I also want it to be daytime. Oh, boy. I should have... Oh, I should have slept in the... Oh, well. Let's just go keep moving. I should have slept rather than getting out of the ship immediately. Hey! Welcome to Aquila City. Wonderful. All right, also, where was... Do they not have a trade authority uh, kiosk around here? Oh man, that's inconvenient for selling things right outside the ship. Huh, maybe it's somewhere up here. No idea. Oh, yep, there it is. There it is right there. Okay, okay. So a bit further away than usual, but... Uh-oh. That's not a problem. Uh -huh. And you're springing for the new reactor? Ooh, new reactor. It's still under manufacturer's warranty. Yes. Can I get an invoice? <laughs> <laughs> what you need one of those for? Because it's, uh, it's corporate expense. Policy. Yeah, corporate expense. Is it okay if I just write it on a notepad? As long as it's written and signed, it could be on a loaf of bread. Nice. All right, that was purely flavor. I was hoping maybe it might go somewhere, but okay, I'm out. <laughs> I was hoping we'd get the little thing at the bottom. Oh, hey, new quest thing. Okay, okay, this looks pretty nifty. Definitely not as built up and uh, nice as uh, New Atlantis, but okay. Oh, hi. Aquila City. It looks like a quaint Barrett, town, but Barrett, order of Marshal Daniel Blake. Oh dear God. You, we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Okay, okay. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Security and hey, Barrett trying to talk at the same time. Little respect. Wait, what? What? I didn't say anything, dude. <laughs> uh, but okay, so apparently there's trouble in this dude thought I was, even though I didn't say a single thing, he was like thinking I was disrespectful. Uh, who the hell is Marshall Blake and why do I know that? So what's the trouble? Well, all I know is there was an attempted bank robbery and things went sideways. Uh-huh. You'd have to ask the marshal if you want the whole story. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, is the marshal in charge of security? Did they mention it there while I was being annoyed at Barrett? Was that why we have them the name Marshal Blake? And I didn't notice because I was like, dear God, Barrett, shut it. Uh, but yeah, are they the one in charge of security? Not usually, but he took charge of the situation because the bank robbers are part of the Shaw gang. The who? The marshal's had a lot of experience dealing with the gang, so he's calling the shots. Got it. Well, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> I mean, we'll probably end up helping, but uh, how do I get to Galbank, though? It's just behind me on the right. Got it. The place is on lockdown, so you should steer clear unless you can help out. I'll keep that in mind. If you think you might be able to help out, boy, he really wants me to. to <laughs> the truth is, last I heard, things weren't going so good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. hey. If you have time, Barrett, I'm shut up. Thinking about some things. Did it also change to change the thing? Uh, yeah, job gone wrong. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Not my problem, even though it's literally right in front of us. Oh, boy. Uh, no, I'm over here. Ignoring it. We'll, we'll take care of that later. Can I get up here and avoid all the things? 
I don't think I can. We'll just let them continue yelling at one another. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I'm here for a thing. We'll handle that next time we come to Aquila. So you want to come here for a half okay. day? Okay. Full day? Little museum. Nice. A half. The Co Heritage Museum, eh? Boy, yeah. Oof. I did not want to get involved in that I at the moment. A break. Break. What the is going on with that? Solomon Co himself. I mean, good for you, man, but one of your displays just freaked the hell out. And God, oh, Barrett, I really wish you would stop talking when we enter new places while other people are wanting to say something, too. Uh, so, hi, Kessler. How are you? Hi. Please feel free to have a look around. It's the reason I started this place. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, hey, could you tell me about the Solomon Co.? Most people know Solomon Co. as the founder of Aquila City and the father of the Freestar Collective. Uh huh. He was an astrophysicist who lived on Earth in a place called Wyoming. Solomon was born around the time people first started living in space. Well, Later huh? in life, he designed starships. And when Earth was in peril, those ships helped to save humanity by taking them to new homes in the stars. Nifty, nifty. Sounds like it was a big deal. Absolutely. During the Great Exodus, Solomon came to this world. He named our star Cheyenne, which was also a place on Earth, and gave Aquila its name, too. Mm -hmm. He and some others built the settlement that would go on to become Aquila City, and his descendants still live here today. Cool, cool. Uh, oh, okay, so we can help them with things for the museum. You know, I do have a number of old Earth artifacts still in my inventory right now. Uh, but hey, I'd like to learn about Aquila City's history. I kind of do. Aquila City was founded over 150 years ago by Solomon Co., a scientist and explorer from Earth. Yeah, you mentioned that already. Along with other settlers, Co. built the structures you see in the part of the city we call the core. Those proud buildings still stand today. The planet was dangerous, so they built a wall around their settlement. Eventually, they ran out of space and started building outside the wall. Got it. Well, well, what happened after that? There were so many buildings that they had to build another larger wall, forming a second outer ring around the growing city. Yeah, that can happen. Of course, the city didn't stop growing, and before long, the third wall, the outer wall you see today, was constructed. Neat. Today, Aquila City is the proud capital of the Free Star Collective, and the Council of Governors continues to meet here when they need to. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, how's the museum going, though, besides the one display that seemed to freak out and jump out of its uh, display housing? Very well. Is it? People are proud of their history here, so we get more visitors than I was expecting. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So it gets pretty busy here, especially with school field trips. Nice, nice. Yeah, I travel a lot. I can keep my eyes open for things for your museum. There are some things I would kill to have. I mean, wait... <laughs> Not literally. I mean, I might. But I would pay a <laughs> lot for. Ooh, I you like see, that. the Co family lost a treasure trove of old historic documents ages ago. Nifty. And those documents would be priceless to have here. I mean, I heard pay a lot for, so I'm game. What sort of documents we talk about? Well, all of them were owned by our city's founder, Solomon Co. Obviously. He's more than that, really. He's one of the greatest heroes of the settled systems. Mm -hmm, These documents mm -hmm. would be, like I said, priceless to the museum and to our guests. Yeah, depending on how much a lot is, I'm interested. I'll pay far more than anyone else would, that's for certain. Got it. Jacob Coe and I have talked at length, and his great-grandfather was a troubled man. Oh. He sold off various historic documents to cover debts. They could be anywhere. I mean, I was if hoping you I find could... oh, okay, any yeah. of that trove of documents, I will pay dearly for it. Got it. Yeah, I'll keep my eyes open. Well, hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's probably true, but uh, I'll keep my eyes open. Thank you. Think of the future generations that could benefit from seeing such important history. <laughs> well, hey, I'd like to talk about a tree branch. That is not something I expected to hear today. Understandable. I assume you're somehow associated with the United Colonies? I've received some odd messages of late. From, from, from a guy named Kelton? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm more of a private contractor working freelance. Mm, a lot of that these days. You do what you have to, I suppose. Darn right. But I can't see myself taking jobs from the UC. Well, I can understand okay. your hesitance. But this has nothing to do with the UC or the FC. There's a chance that people could get hurt. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't try and lecture me, please. I mean, well, fair. I agree I'm with you, Barrett. Oh, it's your always time because I'm not authorized nor particularly inclined to release any of our pieces. That includes uh. hundred-year-old tree branches. Sorry, but it's staying in storage. In storage. Hey, Captain, can I talk with you for a bit? <sighs> Barrett, no, shut it. Also, what was the thing that freaked out earlier? A double bone horn, madam. You might want to. You might want to fix. Oh, it's literally right behind her in that safe, huh? <laughs> well, it said I saw the either steal or convince. So let's drink some wine and uh, get to talking. Convince Leah here to hand over the branch. Let's see how that all does pan out. Boy, and uh, right when we get in to get this, huh? But no, no, we'll handle that later. What else they got in here, though? I'm intrigued. Oh, a nice sextant. Lovely. Free star deputy badge. Ranger badge. A podium with nothing, apparently. Uh, okay. I assume these are all oh traditional microscope. Oh lovely. I was when she mentioned the uh the part about, you know, finding some things for them, I was really hoping I could have sold some of my old earth things here for more than they sell at other places, but apparently, sadly, no. Aw, oh, cool ship. Love it. And a bathroom, okay, nice violin. Her living accommodations. You know, maybe you should uh you know, close this off right here, at a door. <laughs> it's uh, like right in the middle of all the displays. What do we got here? Uh, what was uh, the same gun that Barry uses, right? Lawgiver, is that it? Never remember. Oh, you got, a, you got an espresso machine though too? Sweet, it's down here, nothing I can interact Everything with. Everything you see here is a piece of Aquila City's history. Sure, sure, wonderful. Give me a moment to drink some uh, wine. <laughs> And then we'll have a conversation. Uh, let's do... Let's do the Malbec today. Lovely. I'm starting to run out of wine, though. We're going to have to start using the Cabernet Chonquignon soon. No, I like to keep it because of the name. But, yep, Malbec. There we go. And... All right, madam. Hello. Welcome to the Co-Heritage Museum. Yeah, yeah, no, I offer a brief uh -huh, tour, yeah, sure. and I'm happy to discuss the city's history as well. I mean, I actually would be interested in the tour, but that doesn't seem to be an option. But I really need that tree branch. I hear what you're saying, but I'm afraid it's out of the question. Oh boy, let's see how hard this is going to be. Not too bad down there. Only need four. Let's see. I can be very annoying when I need to be. If you don't give me the branch, I won't stop asking for it. I mean, fair. There's a vile piece of important xenobotanical work. Isn't that, you know, I'm going to try for this one. Yeah, yeah. Important piece of xenobot botanical work. That worked. I guess I don't want to impede anything important. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We just need a one. Yeah, I'm sure there's a way we can both walk away happy. Did That's it. what I'm hoping. She was easy. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> Please return it in one piece. I promise nothing. Ancient branch? It's only a hundred and what? hundred, hundred and fifty 150 years old? Something like that? That's not ancient. All right, well... Let's roll. I don't want to go outside and deal with the uh, that other mission again, so <laughs> let's just set course here. Back to Kelton. Yeah. You know, eh, the Mass District probably would be closer. He's not too far away from the Lodge either, but there we go. To Jemison. Yay. Oh boy, yeah, at some point we'll have to go back to Aquila, deal with that <laughs> bank robbery. It'll stay there. In, uh, in stasis for a very long time until I eventually figure, oh, yeah, sure, let's go back that way. You know, I'm sure the story may even be taking us that way at some point, because isn't one of the two Constellation missions uh, heading into the Freestar Collective, if I'm remembering correctly, the one where we take the father and her daughter on our ship? Hey, uh, uh, I think. You might want this. Barrett shot it. Got a moment? <laughs> Uh, I think that one takes to the free star. I don't know where we'd be going, but it would be a safe assumption that'd be Aquila. But yo, Kelton. Aquila City has what we need. I mean, they did. I got. Have it. you paid a visit to Miss Castler in Aquila City? Yeah, I did. Uh, she wants it back when you're done with it. Yes, yes, of course. I'll see that it is returned to her in one piece. Well, perhaps minus a few shavings. Fair. Now, I just need a moment to analyze this. And synthesize an audio response to our friend here. Uh-huh. All right. So we'll feed in a sample. 
Oh, okay. Now the program will incorporate the genetic and chemical makeup of the sample. Nifty. Extrapolating the size and structure of the original tree. This was put together rather hastily, so complete accuracy is impossible. But I'm hoping it's enough. Fair enough. I mean, there are and some weird sounds happening. There it is. Our best hope for a positive solution to this mess. Got it. Speak to Kelton again. Got it. Okay. Hi. So, we now have a simulated response to our tree. All that's left is to play it. Okay. Sh shouldn't you, like, you know, s get this signed off from your bosses first? Uh, <laughs> I have a bunch of a singing boy's voice when I can try. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> I'm quite certain you couldn't achieve the necessary register. Far too low for human vocal cords. Got it. I've been forced to listen to this SSNN kiosk chatter incessantly this entire time. I think it could be put to better use. Oh, okay. We don't have time to go through the proper channels, oh. but if you can find a terminal and get this uploaded into their system, it might do the trick. I mean, fa okay. It's just <laughs> like I'm worried about that. And if it doesn't work, though? Then I fear all this hard work will be for naught. Uh-huh. I would hate to see this tree come down. But we may be out of options. Okay, I'll take care of it. I have no doubt that you will. Later, Kelton. Okay, we got an audio file. Where, where am I going? Oh, God, all the way over there. Are we going all the way to the SSNN building? Uh, because that seems like we're, we're heading. <laughs> oh, yeah, commercial district. We're, we're going to the SSNN building. Oh, boy. All right, all right, well... Oh god, I keep forgetting to hold. I keep forgetting to hold tab whenever I leave that. Alright, well, let's go take Mast. <laughs> or, not Mast, uh, the Nat. There we go. I saw Mast in big letters up there and my brain just went, that's the word we need, right? No, we need Nat. Okay, commercial district. And away we go. God, no grants that we're breaking into SSNN. I, I thought I just needed, like, to go to wherever the speaker was nearby that he was annoyed by. No, we gotta go all the way to SSNN. Is that gonna, like, play it throughout the entire... entirety of New Atlantis? That doesn't seem... That doesn't seem like this is gonna go well for Kelton. He is gonna have some explaining to do later to his bosses. What? What? Why is it telling me to go back there? Also, neat ship. Where the hell am I? <laughs> Wait, we're back at the spaceport! What?! Uh, okay, I know what it was. The thing was still highlighted here, and even though I clicked on the commercial district, the the highlighting was still here. We had that problem a lot back in Skyrim, too, where we needed to wait a second or so for it to, for it to pick up. Got it. Oh, boy. All right. Yep, I remember having that problem a lot in Skyrim, too. I'd be too quick on the click, and it would click the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, up here. We've never been to the SSNN building before, so there might be more quests in here, too. I mean, I'm sure there be are. Be careful if you run into those ecliptic jerks. Okay, up we go. Whoop. All right. And... You can't go in. Whoop. You just can't. Whoop. But David's my friend. He oh. writes me. Oh. I hate to break it to you, but his PA is the one who signs all those cards and headshots. Uh, okay. Mr. Barron's a very busy and important man. G yeah, I thought when he said you can't go in, I thought he meant I me, came but... I all this way. He's got a fangirl, got it. Uh, listen, I might be able to hook you up. SSN. Hey, Dusty. Oh my god, Barron, shut up. I'm gone, I'm gone. I don't want him oh, talking over someone else again. <laughs> it's just so annoying every time he does. Maybe I should start traveling alone. Uh, let's see, access. Boy, this thing just right out in the open, huh? Upload file. Sweet. Run a diagnostic. All right. Boom. Sweet. We good? We good. All right. No one saw a thing. So where do you actually even get into SSNN in here? <laughs> Where's the door? to the action here. Baron, okay, you're a name person. You probably got a quest later. I'll be back another time. Away! Back to Nat. Oh, which is right here. I almost turned the wrong way. And... So how are you? Everything good? 
back to Mass District. Here we go. And yeah, let's see what's gonna go on with this tree. Back to nighttime though, but you know. Hmm. <laughs> I made sure it was daytime when we first talked to Kelton. But then Aquila was dark. Now this place is dark too. I'm so excited. Just all to went wrong. And Donna, you're named. I wonder if I could get a quest from you too. I should talk to you at some point. But not now. Back to Kelton and the tree. And yo, Kelton. We've done it. Did we? I'm already seeing reductions in the strength of the vibrations. Sweet. The tree is calming down. Excellent. I can hardly believe that worked. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, well, what happens now? I don't know. <laughs> okay. We've been in uncharted territory this whole time. That doesn't stop now. Got it. With the immediate crisis hopefully over, I can slow down and review everything we've learned. Okay. And certainly, I'll be keeping a much closer eye on our friend going forward. Got it. And you, you have saved this tree and advanced our scientific knowledge of our environment. Wonderful. Noble work across the board. How about that pay? You have my gratitude and that of every citizen in New Atlantis. Though they don't know it. Yeah, they never do. They never, holy crap, 5,500? You pay, you paid even better than, well, no, we got 5,000 and also 2,500 between those two jobs. But, okay, job gone wrong? Or wait, nope, that's the, that it went to the, the other one, never mind. So we completed Late Bloomer. Lovely. Excellent. Took a lot more today than I thought. <laughs> so, I mean, I kind of want to go back to this for next time, because bank robbery maybe i can get in on the action there and get some cash but i did say we should handle this oh uh, you know what no i i want to i want to deal with a bank robbery i was thinking maybe it might be a little longer till we head back to aquila but i need to know I need to know, and hopefully make some good cash. So that's going to be it for today, though. I'll get us back to Aquila off cam, and we'll take care of uh, all that next time. But hopefully you all have enjoyed this one today. You do come back for the next, but until that time, thank you for watching as always. We'll have a good one.